Moving on now, and 50 years ago it was regarded as fanciful, but now neuroplasticity is accepted as fact, and, and it is... In <laughs> can't concentrate Yours after that Yours video. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard. And it's expanding our understanding of the healthy human brain. We used to think the brain stopped growing when we became an adult. But a revolution in what we know has changed all that. The brain is not hardwired or fixed, but constantly changing, even into old age. It's called brain plasticity, and it has far-reaching implications for almost every single aspect of our lives. We can actually change our brain and, and shape our brain, and we have the tools and knowledge to do that. Barbara Arrowsmith-Young grew up with a number of severe learning difficulties. I struggled with reading, I struggled with writing. Even in conversations with um, friends, I felt isolated because it was almost like what I heard was like a foreign language. Barbara struggled through school and went on to university determined to overcome her problems. I thought if I could understand what the brain area is supposed to do, maybe I could create an exercise or an activity that would work that area um, to strengthen it. She found with small, intense, repetitive exercises, the brain was able to perform tasks that were previously impossible. Really what it does is it, it just it opens up the, a world of possibility. The human brain is made up of different maps which contain millions of tiny neurons that fire up making pathways as we respond to the world around us. These neural pathways form the basis of habits, behaviours and movements with each map controlling a part of our body. So when a map is damaged it affects how we function and move. Stephanie Ho was just 22 years old when she had a massive stroke. It rendered my right side completely paralysed, so I couldn't walk or move my arm or my hand and I couldn't talk at all. And for a long time, I couldn't see either. When you have a stroke, you have it's almost like a hole in the brain where the cells have died. So you have two options. You can recruit other areas to do that job or you can try and find a pathway around the damaged area. For decades, doctors were taught that no more could be done after just two years post-stroke. But brain plasticity has changed the approach to rehabilitation. It was thought that if you couldn't do much with your hand when you left hospital, that was it, you weren't going to get any better. And we've been able to demonstrate that you can. So we've worked with people from one month to 21 years post-stroke and they've all improved. That's almost as good as the other side. Yeah. At Neuroscience Research Australia, work is being done with stroke patients using computer games to regain lost movement. We have a program that's very brief, it's, it's intense, and because there's a lot of inbuilt rewards, there's a lot of repetition without patients necessarily realising that there's so much repetition. So you're gradually strengthening those pathways, making more neurons in the brain fire, which makes more muscle fibres fire. We now know that our brains change throughout our lives, that our capacity to create new neural pathways doesn't stop when we're teenagers. So it opens up that possibility so not only can they dream, but they can actually go out there and realise their dreams. The one thing that they gave me was the, the hope and the, the persistence to try and try again, and if not, try again. Yeah, so there, um, I'm doing a documentary around the premise of this, which is that science has told us for hundreds of years that the brain was a mechanical thing. Basically, it got to a certain age and it declined. That's all proven to be not true. The brain is plastic. You can become smarter, more creative. An 80-year-old could have a 30-year-old mind. And, wow. and you can increase your creativity. They actually did the first experiment to me, the one of which I was most nervous about, yeah. where they hooked up um, uh, electron pulses to my brain. And the idea was to increase my creativity, but to do that, they needed to shut down my linear thinking. So they hooked this thing up to my brain, which basically brought down the left side of my brain, it inhibited it, it's and increased the right side of my what? brain. That's fair and to be they, nervous about yeah. that. that <laughs> and they tested on. me, they gave me uh, tests. It was all done in a lab, and yeah. they gave me tests, and it was remarkable. I was completely different the second time I did it. I solved the problems differently. I looked at the world differently. I felt differently. How long does it last? Yeah, well, that lasts for an hour and then an hour afterwards. But this, this documentary and neuroplasticity is frontier science, and it's basically telling us that we do not have to accept the brain we have. We can improve it regardless of who so you are. So we go to the gym. Um, Charlie, we, you go to the gym. You know, like, 